my beautiful makeup geeks. I'm doing a very colorful yet wearable look today. I'm going to call it the wearable rainbow because <laughs> it has some bright colors, but they're not so bright to where it looks really funky. So I would wear this every day, but I'm going to use the new palette that came out for the Christmas collection from Smashbox. It's the I Wish palette, and I bought this with my own moolah, so thank you. It has um, 16, no wait, 12 eyeshadows in it. The top three rows here are eyeshadows. The bottom four are cream liners. And I'll do a review on the Makeup Geek site for you guys so that way you know what I think about it. Um, it has a mascara and then also an eyelid primer. So I'm going to use that today to create this look. Okay, to start off this look, I'm going to prime my lids with the Smashbox Photo Finish Lid Primer. It's the one that came with the kit, so I'm going to try it out. I haven't tested it long enough to see if this really does hold up to creasing like the Urban Decay one, but I will say I love how it's colored. So if you are light to medium skin tone, I think it may work for darker too, but it may, you know, just be a little light. But I like how it has a color because it almost acts as a concealer also. So just spread that out using your finger. And then you're going to take a flat stiff brush like this. I've used it for this size, so it's nice and dirty. <laughs> I'm going to go in with this tealish color right here, the lighter color one, and that flat brush. And I'm just going to put this on the inner third of the lid, staying away from the tear duct for the most part, but just pat that on just like that. And then switch to a stiff dome brush like this. I'm going to go in with the purple color right here, really pretty. We're going to put this on the outer part of the eye. So start here on the outer groove and get that started. And then you're going to start to sweep it up here in the crease just a little bit. Now if you don't have a lot of space up here above the crease to play with, you can skip this part. Don't go in. Just put it on the outer part of the eye. Same brush, wipe it off really, really well. And if you are pale or have fair skin, you can go in with this light color up here. For me, it's too light, and if you're darker, obviously, it's going to be really light, too. So just grab an eyeshadow that's the same color as your skin, not shimmery. I'm just going to use one of these IT eyeshadows because my um, MAC ones are being held ransom right now. So i got to use what I have, but I'm going to do a review on this soon. It's a really cool kit. But anyways, you're going to... Blend this right up here under the brow bone and start to sweep it a little bit out here over that purple just to kind of soften the edges some and really work that brush so you don't have any harsh lines. Now go back with that flat stiff brush we used before, flip it over to use the other side or wipe it off. I'm going to go in with this purple here. I used this one on the outer part. I'm going to go in with the very light lavender. We're going to put this on the middle of the lid right there. Now I do this color last so that way it kind of pops. If I were to do it first and then did the other two colors you would kind of lose the effect of that purple. So do it last and just pat that on, kind of blend it over into the teal and the purple. Now take an itty bitty brush like this. It's a really small flat brush. I'm going to go in with this golden color to make the eyes really pop, and it's this top one up here. If you feel that's too light, you could maybe do the bronzy one, but I think that golden one will be pretty on everyone. Take some of that. We're going to put this here near that tear duct that I told you to leave open earlier. And if you have small eyes and think you can't pull off this look, you are wrong, because we're not basing it on height, it's on width, and everyone pretty much has the same width. So apply this here in the tear duct. And then we're also going to take it on the edge of the brush, so stick it in the shadow like this. And we're going to apply it here under the lower lash line, go about halfway. Wipe off the brush on a clean old towel, then go in with this dark bronzy color here. I want something that's a neutral to kind of balance out all of the colorful stuff going on up here. So you can do like a brown color if you want, you can do a dark gray, a black something that's neutral and smudge this all under the lower lash line on the outer part. Now for the waterline you can do any color you want black, brown, blue, purple. I'm gonna do purple because my eyes are brown and it's opposite the color wheel so it'll make my eyes pop more. I'm gonna take a purple eyeliner. This one's just a L'Oreal hip one. You can use any eyeliner you want. I'm gonna take this deep plum gel liner and dip my pencil into that 
And I like using a gel liner on the waterline just because it stays on there a little bit longer and it's more potent. So take that waterline, pull it down a little bit. You see how vivid that is? So I'm going to go ahead and apply my false lashes next. And this is optional, you guys don't have to, but I am because I can. <laughs> and because I want to. I'm using the Ardell number 305s. They're half lashes, which are great for easy looks. You can just stick them on and they give your eyes kind of a flare out look and they change the shape of your eyes. So I'm going to apply that, put on mascara, and then we'll do the rest of the face. Okay, so now that the eyes are done, we can do the face. And I'm going to just use a bronzer today instead of a blush because I want to kind of display my cheeks without too much color. I'm going to use the Sephora Sculpting Stick, stick Disc. <laughs> I'm going to use the side that says sun. Now this will work if you're fair to sort of medium skin color. If you're medium to dark, this will be too light. So find a bronzer or a powder that's two shades darker than your skin tone. I'm going to use a rounded brush like this. This is max number, I don't know because it's more off. I think it's 109. Take some of that, suck in your cheeks, make the fish face. And I'm going to apply this up under the cheekbone and just blend that out. And then once you apply that, you can start to blend it up. So I'm just going to do small circle motions like this. Just take a little bit of color and blend it up on the cheekbones. Really easy. And if you want to, you can do a little here under the chin to kind of get rid of any fluff. <laughs> then for the lips, I want it to be super easy since the eyes have so much going on. So I'm just going to apply the NYX um, Mega Shine Lip Gloss in Smoky Look. It's a really pretty kind of peachy nude color, I guess you could say. So I'm just going to apply a little bit of that, and that completes the look. <laughs> so I hope you guys had fun doing that with me. It's something very colorful, but I still think it's wearable. Like, I would wear this every day, but that's just me. <laughs> so thanks for watching, guys. Go to MakeupGeek.com for a list of all the stuff that I used, as well as a review on this palette. So check it out, and I will talk to you guys soon. Oh, stay happy and healthy, like always. <laughs> talk to you guys later. Bye!